This is a quick view of the Year of the Metal Ox 2021. Hi everyone, I'm Donna. I do videos on astrology and feng shui and welcome to my channel. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and if you like videos like this, hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. So just to let you know, I'm a professional astrologer. I've written 16 books. I also write for horoscope.com, astrology.com, and sunsigns.com, of which I do a weekly column in Western astrology. There are links to these down in the description box below. But most of my books are written on Chinese astrology. And so today I want to take a look with you, a very, very quick look at what 2021 holds in store for us. Now, I will be doing longer videos on both an overview of what 2021 has in store, but also individual predictions for each of the Chinese zodiac signs. I also do videos on Western astrology, so check out the other videos on my channel. So as I record this, we are about, well, almost halfway through the year of the metal rat and it has turned out to be an a classic rat year where we are all scrambling trying to adjust to new circumstances and do new things and so the energy of rat is very much of us being uh, in our little hole in the wall seeing something we need scrambling out there to grab it grabbing that thing running back in for the safety and and you you know, just, just so that we, we have what we need. So, so very high energy, always moving, always looking to see what we need and really a very go-getter attitude. Now, of course, rat years bring lots of opportunities. That's great. And it's a metal year. Metal years are about organizing resources. And so there's a big focus on money, on, on how to get money, where money is going, but also other resources that we have, which would be the stuff that we have in our house, as well as our own talents and abilities. Then we are going to go into the year of the metal ox. So it's going to yet again be a metal year. This will be the yin metal year. Currently we're in a yang metal year. So this will be a yin metal year. So our focus is still on organizing resources. But now we go from extremely fast energy to the slow, extremely sedate energy of ox. It is like 100 miles an hour to that crawl that you do when you're in the school zone. It is slow, slow energy. And it is an energy that slows down so we can rebuild. This is an energy of strapping on the yoke and plowing the field. And it's all stuff that we know how to do. This is not about going off and doing all these brand new things. This is grabbing the broom after the hurricane and sweeping things up and and figuring out how to build what you need again and so this 2021 can be an extremely prosperous year for people but not fast money but that slow build where you first start and say what is it that i no longer need what's too damaged to try to to recover and then what is it that i do need what 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 are the fewer things that i need and now let's build from there so when we look at ox energy it's it's extremely uh methodical it's extremely hardworking, but it focuses really on simplicity. And so if you're already into minimalism, you are going to be right in line with this energy. Uh, you know, I know that all of these events that have been happening here now in 2020 has got me back on my journey towards minimalism to look at what's really important when it comes to uh, what I'm doing with my life and how I'm spending my time to also how I'm spending my money. And so again, this will be a metal year also. And so that concern with resources is very important. 
So I just want to run through each sign really quick and give you kind of an update about where you'll be. Again, there'll be future videos where this will be much more in detail, but right now let's just go through each sign. So let's just start with ox because those of you born in the year of the ox, you'll be having the first year of your 12 year cycle. And so this will be a new beginning year for you. And so one, you're in harmony with the energy because the entire world world is doing ox energy and you are an ox so you will understand this energy it will feel comfortable for you that's fantastic and it is a seed planting year and so sometimes seed planting years are really hard for different signs but for ox you already know how to plow the field you know how to plant the seeds and so by seed planting it means try new things it means do new things to see what's going to work it is saying that a lot of the things that you were doing in the past especially over the past 12 years are not necessarily things you want to do that you're bringing forward your knowledge and your talents and abilities but you may not be doing the same things and we see that already here in 2020 where so many people are now working out of their house so many people are doing things online so we already see those changes and those changes now can become more permanent in 2021 if you are born the year of the tiger you are doing ox energy and this is a slightly irritating energy for you because it is the slow moving methodical energy and you're a tiger you're ready to leap into action and so you want things to happen very very quickly now the advantage that you have is you can run circles around the the ox you you can get much more done but you need to focus your energies on what your goal is there is going to be this focus on simplicity but tiger energy generally likes to do multiple things at once and juggle lots of things and so what's going to be important for you is to focus on those few things that are going to bring you the most results now, when you think of, you know, if a tiger was going to make a meal out of something right now in the year of the rat, the tiger is making the meals out of the rats. It's like little hors d'oeuvres. Now it's a giant ox. Okay, so, so this is like everything that happens could be more than you can handle. So be aware of that too when you're looking at simplifying your life. Are you doing things that are adding a lot, a lot of work to your life or are you looking for ways to streamline, delegate or eliminate so that you can be more efficient? Now you're going to be in the last year of your seed saving year. This means that you're more in a planning mode because in 2022, you get your first year of your 12 year cycle. So currently being in your last year, this is more about letting go. And this is more about figuring out what it is that's really important to you rather than starting a lot of new things. Now, for those rabbit natives, you're in harmony this year. You and ox get along really well. You know, you, you can live and exist in the same space and not compete for food. You, you don't fight with each other. So this can be quite a harmonious year for you. Now, you're in the second year of seed saving. This is the second year of more of a repose, of sitting back and reassessing. This is also about you capitalizing on all of your talents and abilities that you have have accumulated over the last 10 years. This is a time where you really stick to what you know and really focus on expanding that. So it, even if you're going into a different field, you would take all of your skills and abilities and apply and do exactly the same thing that you were doing before. So in other words, if you were in sales in cosmetics and now you're going to be in sales in car parts, you're still in sales and that's where it's important to be. For you dragon natives, the ox energy is going to move very, very slow, but it's very practical. And so that's the focus for you. You have these big ideas. You want to take the lead. You want to find those people who support what you're doing, but everything comes down to how you're going to practically apply your ideas. And so if you have these big ideas, you know, that you want to write a screenplay, you know, or that you, you want to start a charity or things like that, everything this year in 2021 is it's going to be about how can you get boots on the ground doing this. Now you're in the first year of your seed saving time and this again is more about 
capitalizing on what you already know versus going out and trying brand new things. So this is sticking with perhaps jobs that you already have done, looking at the hobbies you were doing, seeing how you can take something that you have practiced or worked on and actually put it out into the world, or how you can take a hobby and monetize it. Now, for those of you snake natives, you are in very much harmony with the ox energy. And so there is this similar practicality and understanding of business. So this is a very good time for you. You'll have a lot of opportunities for job, uh, for relationships, for new connections. This is the last year of your harvest period. And so you can make quite a lot of money. You can also bring in a wider circle of friends because again, you're sticking with what's important. You're staying with simple ideas, simple concepts. That's your way forward. Now, for those horse natives, I will tell you that 2021 will be a much better year than 2020. In 2020, you're doing the opposition year. That's a tough year. Now you are in this sort of uneasy relationship, but it's certainly better. Now, the why I say it's uneasy is because you are the two large animals in the barnyard, but you have very different jobs. The ox is out in the field plowing and the horse is there to, you know, take, take the farmer to different places or to be hitched up to the wagon and so forth. And so there is much more of a desire to play, to be social, to connect and that's what you're supposed to be doing but the whole world is telling you that you need to strap on a yoke and go work in the fields and all of that that's not what you're supposed to be doing so you need to still be true to yourself but recognize that being practical and doing you know they those little things that do help you uh, get that practical work done in other words you still need to be productive. You can't just play all the time. If you do that, you are going to miss out on some opportunities. This is the second year of your harvest period. So you are right in the middle of your harvest period. That means you can make the most money of this last oh, six or seven years. So this is the best time for you to go above and beyond. Uh, take the risks that are going to bring you more money. You know, volunteer to lead the team. Uh, go and get a group of people who want to do a business together. You need to take those steps this year. Now for sheep or goat or ram, you are doing the opposition year. And this is the tough year. Uh, it is because everyone is looking at ox and nobody's looking at you. And this is particularly tough for sheep natives because you are naturally social. And so you need to really be more social. And that could be connecting through social media. That could be... Uh, you know, just building your circle of friends, meeting the friends of your friends, and so forth. The more like-minded people you find, the better you are going to do this year. Now, you are, though, in the first year of your harvest period. That means you're really starting to make money on all these projects that you've been working on. That's when the bigger money starts to happen, the bigger commissions, the bonuses, all of that. So financially, this could be a very good year, but it does mean that you have to stomp your feet a little louder so that you can be noticed. Now, for monkey natives, this is one of those years where it feels a little out of sync because you're extremely fast thinking, very fast moving, and we're in a slow year. And so there is this kind of, you know, you're running around trying to get all these things done, and it feels like, oh, everybody is moving so slow. But wait, the, all you need to do is, again, go with your priorities, but you may have one, two, three priorities where somebody else just has one. That means that you can get a side business going, you can get things happening, uh, just behind the scenes. Now, you are in the last year of your seed tending time. That is that you need to pay the most attention to what's working. And it also means that since you're on the verge of harvest, there is some profits that you can be taking. So that means you can get a better job. You can get an increase this year. You can start to see some of the things happen that you've been working hard on for the last five or six years. 
So now rooster natives, you're in a lot of harmony with the ox. You know, you're both from the barnyard. You don't compete for food. You don't compete for space. And so you can get along very well with this energy and you really understand this energy. You know, rooster is the manager of the barnyard. You're very good at managing resources and this is a year of resources. And you're in the second year of your seed tending time. That means that all the seeds that you planted over the last few years are now starting to really grow. And those things like the early lettuces are now ready to eat. That means that you are finding more ways to make money, more ways to make connections with people than ever before. So you want to stick with what's really working. Don't try to put a lot of time and energy into things that seem to be failing, but figure out what's doing well and put more uh, energy into that. Now, those of you who are dogs, you have a lot of work ahead of you and it work in the sense of being good, which means you will always have a job over this course of this year, maybe two jobs, but also that you're just going to be extremely busy because when we think about the dog and the ox, you are uh, a herder. And so you're trying to keep the oxes in line, but now the entire world are ox oxen. And so that's a lot of herding to do. This is the first year of your seed tending time. And that means that you have all of these things growing now. You've planted a bunch of seeds, but now you're dealing with the weeds and the weeds are just as big as the plants themselves. And so you're figuring out what's the right direction, what's the wrong direction. So there's such an emphasis on simplicity this year. That means that you figure out what is the most important to you and you focus on that. This is also very much about practical application. You're past the concepts. You're past the idea period. It is now boots on the ground doing things. And so that's the focus this year. When we look for pig natives, you guys are in a lot of harmony with ox energy in 2021. You know, when we look at the barnyard, you guys are very harmonious together. You don't compete for food. You don't compete for space. You don't fight with each other. And so this can be a much more pleasant year for you. You're in the third year of your seed planting. And this means that you are trying new things. And now you may, this last year in year of the rat, you might have gone back to something you did before, but now you need to go and do some new things. And while everybody else is really focused on simplicity and there is still that energy for you, the focus for you needs to be on trying lots of new things that could be taking classes, investigating hobbies or interests, really following your intuition and finding things that are exciting to you. And maybe you're just taking one class or seeing a few videos or reading a book on it, but to explore that idea and see where it takes you. The more seeds you plant, the more successful you are. Now for rat natives, you guys are currently, as I film this, doing this year right now. So rat energy, that's a hard year because it's your year. And so that does mean that you are having your whole world turned upside down just along with everybody else. It means that things you were doing over the past 12 years, you either don't want to do anymore or you can't do anymore. And so this is your second year now in 2021 of seed planting. And that means doing lots of new things. But oftentimes during the three year seed planting period, a person will go back to something they were doing in the last cycle because all they see are these little seedlings. They can't really eat them. They're just too small. And so you may think, well, the thing to do is to go back to something I've done before. And it's an understandable temptation. But I will tell you that you could do that for a little while. But by 2022, you will be back on that path doing new things. So you might as well just focus on doing new things and finding your new path. And that is exploring new opportunities while you're still collecting the the a residual energy from that last cycle because it's still pretty recent but mostly moving forward expanding your comfort zone and by all means trying new things and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. If you like videos like this, it really helps out the channel. If you have any questions for me, you can email me directly or you can leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.